Hey guys, welcome back to Lavender. Today we're doing another Get Your Life Together challenge and we're focusing on habits. So first off, I'd like to thank Kara for sponsoring this video. I'll talk about them more later on. So the focus is on building positive habits and the most important thing is consistency. I know that I struggle with consistency with my habits and I'm sure a lot of you out there struggle with that too. So I thought I'd do this challenge to see if we could do our most important positive habits every single day for at least five five days. One of my favorite books that I always mention is called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson and in that book the author talks about how important it is to be consistent and take small consistent actions every single day to take you towards your goal. So it's better to do something small every single day rather than working like in spurts like doing a lot at a time taking a break for a month or two months and then doing it again. What I'm trying to say is if you carve out time to do your habits every single day and be consistent about them you might not feel like you're changing a lot day to day but if you zoom out and see the bigger picture you're gonna see some major changes in your life so consider it an investment in yourself investing 15 minutes to meditate here 15 minutes to journal there just know that it will have a lasting impact in your life so this week I'm gonna pick four habits to focus on and I'm gonna track them in my habit tracker in my artist of life workbook so I'm gonna focus on doing morning pages or just journaling meditating taking vitamins every day, and reading every evening. I also track some other habits, but I'm gonna consider those bonuses and focus on just getting my four main habits done every single day for this week. So let's start the challenge. Morning, it is day one of my get on my habits, consistency, whatever week. I am making my way to go to yoga. I was kind of in a rush this morning because I don't wanna be late, so going there right now but that is good I actually went to exercise yesterday as well so this is the second day I'm happy about that yoga session work but I'm going to commit to reading 10 pages and I'm gonna do it here because Wilson's sleeping in bed good morning so I have lunch plans today and I thought I overslept I thought I slept past my alarm so when I woke up I was like oh my god I woke up too late and I checked my phone and it happened to be three minutes right before my alarm was gonna go off so I woke up at 9 57 a.m. and my alarm was set to 10 a.m. So that is a win on the sleep side and now I have a few extra moments to do my morning routine and get those habits in, so let's do it. Today I think I'm going to take my vitamins separately because it was a lot at once yesterday, so I'm gonna split it up throughout the day. I just finished lunch and I am going to take some vitamins in my car. I think I'll do like four, whatever comes out. That day I went to Wilson's office to do some work regarding the workbook and also help him bring his plants to his office that day. I ended work pretty late, but I wanted to commit to my reading habit, so I started reading around 2 a.m. I realize now that I have to end work earlier, and this was what I was trying to work on last week with my sleep schedule. I'm still working on it, stopping work earlier, getting to bed earlier, so I can have time to read and then go to sleep at a normal time. So today I woke up late, and I didn't feel very, like, motivated or positive. I just felt kind of like, Ugh, I want to be a potato today. So I didn't feel like vlogging. I just did a live video on YouTube though. And then now I'm going to take time to journal and meditate and get some work done. Hello, good morning, it's Saturday. We actually woke up at like 8.30 a.m. and went to a movie screening at 9 a.m. but now we're gonna get lunch but I'm gonna take my vitamins. 
By the way, if you're curious about the vitamins that I'm taking, they're from Care Of. Care Of delivers daily vitamin and supplement packs customized to promote personal health and wellness. Each pack even has your name on it and also a cute quote or challenge. I love how personal they get. You take a five minute quiz on their site, which is like getting a consultation with a nutritionist. Then they recommend a personalized vitamin pack based on your needs. From there, you can read more about each vitamin they recommend and even edit your pack. For example, they recommended me fish oil for omega-3, but I swapped it out for the veggie omega option that's made from microalgae. After trying it out for a week, I really like that the vitamins come in daily packages because it encouraged me to finish my packet each day. I could also take the packet with me in my purse so I could take the vitamins later on in the day or when I'm still out. If you'd like to try out Care Of, you can get 25% off your first month by going to takecareof.com and using the promo code LAVENDARE. You can also find that link down below. Below. So day five, thankfully I had time to take my vitamins, journal and meditate in the morning and that day was really fun since I went out to this new foodie museum pop-up that my friends started and we just had a lot of fun exploring that space, taking photos. I was actually looking forward to ending my night early so that I could read and practice Chinese. I just found like a new spark of motivation and passion for it, which is something that I haven't felt in a while. It was a Sunday night, so I also had time to put on a sheet mask and give myself a little extra skincare that night. So at the end of this five day challenge, I can say that this week was easier than last week. It's easier for me to incorporate consistent daily habits than it is to wake up earlier every day, but I still see how essential the sleep part is because if I sleep earlier, I can wake up earlier and have more time for that morning routine and all those habits in the morning. The habit that I was most excited about bringing back into my life was reading every evening. This is something that I used to do maybe last year or a couple years ago and I stopped doing it because I got busy and I would just work late without reading. But bringing back reading into my life has inspired me again. I love learning new things, exploring, and I even got back into practicing Chinese and learning languages. It's really nice to be able to carve out that time for my own personal growth because I think I get the most out of like reading new books, discovering new things. Another thing I realized was a challenge this year was living with my boyfriend because living with someone else with their own sleep cycle and habits and stuff, it's hard to compromise with your own. So for example, I used to love reading in bed before going to sleep, but if my boyfriend's sleeping earlier than me, then you know when I'm in bed, the lights have to be off and I can't really read. So I think that's why I stopped reading at night. And so this week I had to kind of reformat my habits. I don't have to read in bed, instead I can read in the living room or at my desk or somewhere else while my boyfriend's sleeping. So this week I would say the challenge was a success for me. I learned what criteria I need to get all my habits consistently done every single day and how to kind of reshape and reformat things to fit them in. So I'd like to know if you guys are up for this challenge. Are you going to focus on being consistent with your habits? Let me know down below which four habits you would like to work on this week. And if you do the challenge, let me know how you do as well. I'd love to hear your updates. So stay tuned for next week because we're we're going to be tackling our home. So it's going to be all about tidying, cleaning, organizing, getting your home together, and also getting your home habits in place so that you keep it organized as best as you can. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so much. See you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.